Okay, so we um continue looking at question part four. All right, part four of the question. Now we found earlier that angle C right here is 25.3 degrees. 25.3 alright now they're asking for this this angle right here hmm oh we're going to have to show that this bearing is 260 degrees let's see how we can figure that out you notice if we found all this angle from here all the way round and round let me draw this curve a little more curve here yeah all the way around from this point all the way to this point if we could find that angle you have to remember that <coughs> from here all the way around back to here is 360 so 360 minus all the way here would be the angle right here that will give us our answer but um, what we can do when you have a question like this see if you can identify any angle that will be the same as this and if see if you can use some measurements or other angles close to that other angle once you get it then this must be the same angle all right what i can see here is that if i extend this line further extend it a little further let me redraw that from this point good i extend it a little further there then i identify this angle if I can find this angle, it will be the same as this angle because the two correspond, right? Now, how can I find this angle? Let's see. Ah, I can find an angle near to it, you know. Suppose I find this angle. Then from here all the way here is 180 let me redraw it this angle in here this one if I add the 119 to it I would get 180 degrees because this here <coughs> along the extended line is a straight line so whether or not it will help us is another matter but we give it a try 119 plus 180 let me use my calculator I have one offline I'm um, 180 minus 119 I should say 180 minus 119 give 61 degrees so this is 61 degrees all right Let's see now, if I could find this other angle around here, it would help me. Because if I add up all of this, 360 minus, that would give me this. But, let's see what can be done here. Guess what? I can find an, another angle here, you know. You see this north line? It goes straight up like this one and this 44 here if I should extend the line here if I should extend this line a little and stop there I could find this angle here but this 44 corresponds with this angle so it will be the same 44 degrees good I'm getting there getting there guess what I identify another one 
you see this and this crisscross here and I have a 61 here where else can you find a 61 degrees over this side of course so okay, these would be called vertically opposite this must be 61 too this is 61 this must be 61 too ah getting there guess what now this angle plus this angle plus this angle plus this angle if I do that then all of that if I bungle them up like that 360 minus this my minus that answer would give me this angle so let's see 360 minus all of these bungled together 61 plus 119 plus 61 plus 44 would give me this angle now let's try 61 plus 119 with your calculator plus 61 plus 44 equal to 85 so this gives me 360 minus 285 that results in 75 degrees this is 75 degrees what else is 75 this also 75 now guess what you see this 75 plus 25 point 3 75 plus 25 point 3 75 plus 25 point 3 equal is 100 hmm. I'm getting a little messed up here let me redo this this is 100 point 3 then 360 minus this 100 point 3 360 minus all right let me get the get back the accurate figures the 75 plus 25 point 3 you get back to my on-screen calculator here was it 25.3 25.13 it seems not 25.3 that was an error but that was 75 plus that 75 plus that Seventy five plus that equals one hundred point one five three something. All right, so let's look back at it one hundred point one three something. This was twenty five point one three. right it was 25.13 so I should have a little one right here good back to this now 360 minus 100.13 something I want all the figures to get it very accurate so 360 minus that equals 259.84 hmm. not perfectly accurate but 
because of some rounding off 259.84 so let's call it let's call it 259.8 what they want is 260 well close enough to the nearest degree what this would be is 200 and not 259 because you have an 8 after the 9 so add 1 to the 9 and this gives you 260 degrees so that is the answer good thank you very much see you later